what should we leave for future generations? Most people agree we ought to preserve resources, like the environment, for the future. But we're not very good at it. Why is that? How can we better cooperate with generations that follow us? Traditionally, economists have assumed in their models that we're mostly rational and selfish. Most public policies try to get selfish people to behave for the overall good. For example, being rewarded for reusing your plastic bags or having to pay if you want a new one. But there's evidence that we're willing to cooperate for the greater good if others do too. A team from Harvard put this to the test. They recruited several generations of players for an online game. Each generation had five members and a hundred units to share. If more than half were left, the resource made it through to the next generation and was renewed to a hundred. The team tried a couple of different things. If people were allowed to make their own decisions about how much to take from the pool, the resource didn't last to the next generation. <laughs> Usually, it was just one or two big takers who were responsible. Then the researchers tried a different version of the game. This time, the five members voted on how much to take, and each member got to take home the average. Voting like this goes against selfish interests and in favour of future generations who the voters will never meet. By the way, no players were related. The resource was sustainable. In some games, the resource lasted for 14 generations. But it only works if everyone votes. In another variation of the game, when only a few people voted and the others chose freely, the pool was depleted. Voting works, the authors say, because the majority of cooperative types can restrain the grabbers. And also because the cooperators are reassured that their efforts are not in vain. Nobody wants to be the sucker. So how can governments take advantage of our warm and cooperative feelings towards future generations? Well, our cooperative nature can only be harnessed if the vote is binding. Which is why non-binding agreements like the Kyoto Protocol on Carbon Emissions, have little power. International politics is never going to be easy. So next, the team plan to explore how residents of different countries play the game, to see if culture influences cooperation. In the meantime, the idea might work best on a more local level. For instance, if every fisherman in a given area votes on a maximum catch per day, and everyone is held to account, the community has a better shot at preserving fish stocks for the future. The study provides evidence for a capacity that many have hoped humans are capable of. It was Albert Einstein who said, nothing truly valuable can be achieved except by the unselfish cooperation of many individuals.